Welcome to DBeaver's YouTube channel. In our previous video, we talked about transactions and how they work in DBeaver. When you are in the development and testing phase of your project, there is usually no need to keep track of transactions. But if we are talking about a production system, we need stricter control over reading and editing data. Therefore, dBeaver has connection types that allow you to track transactions only when you need to. By default, dBeaver offers you a choice of three connection types, development, test, production. To understand the main difference between them, let's try to perform the same operation for the development type and the production type. First, let's open a connection that has the development type set. We will change the value in a cell of any table and click the Save button. Since this connection type is set to Auto Commit mode by default, any changes we make will be applied to the database immediately. Now we will do the same, but for the production connection type. We clicked on the Save button, but the changes will not be applied to the database until we click on the Commit button. Moreover, we can revert the changes by clicking on the Rollback button. For each new connection, the development type is predefined. To change this setting, you need to right-click on the connection and go to Edit Connection, General. Once you choose a connection type, it will be highlighted in the specified color in your navigation tree, data editor, and SQL editor. This protects you from the risk of accidentally making changes to the production system. If you click on the Edit Connection Types button, the Settings window will open and you will see the default properties for each connection type. In cases where these property sets are not enough, you can customize each connection type for yourself. By clicking on the Set Permissions button, you can restrict yourself from editing data or metadata, executing scripts, or importing data. Please note that these restrictions will not affect the database itself, nor will it affect others working with it too. You can change the name, description, or background color for any of the connection types. In rare cases of complex infrastructure, when you have more than three development stages, you may need to create your own connection types. To add a new type and remove unnecessary options, use the two buttons below the window with the list of connection types. To avoid mixing up custom types with each other, set a name, description, and background color for each of them. Now, when creating a new connection, don't forget to choose one of the pre-configured types. Using this feature has already saved many hours of work for our users. Therefore, we highly recommend that you try it out and evaluate its convenience yourself. Thanks for watching and see you in our next video.